think, you know, try out either Starbucks or McDonald's in a new country. So that's what we're gonna do because we have about a two hour layover. So we got a few things. First thing I got is this sweet milk bread. Strawberry chocolate cake. Oh, and I also got this. A chocolate macaroon. Then I really wanted to try some drinks. So I got this water lime sparkling ice. I don't even know, but there's an actual lime in there. And then this is a ice something something. But look at how beautiful it looks. Oh, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. It tastes like candy. That's sweet. It's like aloe. Oh, yeah. It's got a little lime in here. Not your bad. This tastes like soda with lime juice. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like sweet bread. What? That looks really good. Ooh, look at how that came out. It's, it's like a mousse. Yeah, it's like There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slowly Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am home again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief Hey guys, it's day one. This is my quick little OOTD. Didn't do anything crazy just because we're going to the boat. So I do have other cover-ups that I have in the bag along with us. But it is about like an hour and a half drive to the boat. So I figured just want to be comfortable. I am wearing my new little Skims bathing suit underneath. It's really cute. I will show it to you guys later. And this is Jay trying to figure out the logistics for the next few days. The views are absolutely unreal here. We're super excited. But yeah, like I said, we're about to head on out. We're doing a little tour of the PP Islands. Super excited, and I definitely have my Dramamine with me because I do tend to sometimes get seasick, but hopefully that's not the case for today. And yeah, of course, we'll bring you guys along with us. I'll do a better room tour maybe tomorrow or something because it is pretty early, and they're going to be here in like 10 minutes. So I will catch up with you guys when we're there. <laughs> Sabrosa y tan dulce como un mango 
una chica de Bahía con milagros, cantita bien caro. La bella, brasilera canta a capela. Dime en portugués todo lo que quieras. Yo te llego en cualquier manera. Semi automatic, shoot my shot in person till I had it. Fuck the drama, she was cinematic. Speak to me in tongues like a fanatic. Yeah, she a fan of me. but I want to give you guys a room tour during the day because everything looks absolutely beautiful. When you first walk in, we have this little lounging area which is technically considered outside. You have this little shade, I guess, and you open it up to see the beautiful pool and the beautiful beach views. Like, look at how stunning this place is. It's unreal. We have our own pool, which we're about to dive right into. This thing is huge. And then if you look up, you can see we have a view of the beach. And it's absolutely stunning. Then if I turn this way, you can see I'm also filming this for TikTok. So definitely follow me there. We have, like I said, a little lounge area. They give us fresh fruit every day. We just have some of our stuff drying. Then over here is a little bar area. All of this is included, which is so amazing because usually places charge you an arm and a leg and they refill this for us every single day. Same with the fridge, they have it stocked. Then as you can see this way, we go in and this is our room. This place is absolutely stunning. We actually just got it clean, so I figured it'd be a good time to do the tour, but of course, you know, our stuff's everywhere. We have the bed right here, king size bed, so comfortable, we've been sleeping like babies. Then over here, we have our sinks, which, I mean, look at how beautiful these sinks are. I'm obsessed, everything's just so beautiful. I have cute little mirrors, and a little bamboo thing with our towels. And you could still see the views from the bathroom, like how sick is that? And this is the same view from our bed. Then if we go this way, right behind us we have this massive tub, which I definitely want to take a bath because look how beautiful this is. And then we also have a rain shower head. Everything here is just so beautiful, all the details, I love it. Then in here is nothing crazy, just a toilet. But we have a little closet here with some of our stuff. They actually give you this bag to use while you're here, which is so nice of them. Then you walk over here, just more closet space, more closet space. A little area that I'm going to be using to get ready. We have this amazing bamboo chair that just has the sickest views of the pool. And yeah, this is our room. We are so blessed to be able to stay here and extremely obsessed with this place. Hey guys, 
I feel like I haven't really talked to you guys because we've just been go 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 but today is actually my birthday and I've had an amazing day so far so I'm actually getting ready so I'll just talk to you guys as I start getting ready because we only have an hour to get ready today so really in a bit of a rush and the place we're going to is actually really nice of course so I'm like gotta get it together we had the beautiful pool behind us I'm so in love with this I just spilled this everywhere okay <laughs> why does this always happen to me but like I said as you guys could see I'm in love with this place we have the beautiful pool behind us and this morning well actually I'll start with yesterday because I feel like I didn't really talk about yesterday so we got in about two nights ago but you know it was nighttime and we basically just came in and slept and that's about it but the next morning we woke up we did a little boat tour of the pp islands which was so much fun we had an amazing time it was like an all-day affair we went to mayan bay like all these different places in pp islands i couldn't even name all of them i'll have it i'll have the tour link down below as well because it was so cool they had scuba diving paddle boarding they even had what was it called like the clear kayaking we saw dolphins it was like the most beautiful sunset they fed us thai food they gave us breakfast they gave us barbecue they gave, like there was just so much involved and it was just such a great time i would highly recommend i did get a little sick on the long tail boat which is expected because i always get seasick but yeah that wasn't exactly the best but I was able to quickly recoup and still enjoy the rest of the boat tour. Then today we woke up, had breakfast as usual. The breakfast is actually included, so that's really great. And the breakfast is really good. Like I'm obsessed with their eggs here. They're so good. Then we got ready and we went to the most beautiful spot I've ever been to in my life. Like this place looked like a dream and the whole thing itself was so incredible it was like the best massage i've ever had in my life they also did a salt scrub so we were there for i think like two two and a half hours it was like this whole thing so much fun and jade did it as well so it was like cute little you know couple romantic massage as well and yeah i really loved it i'm already planning to come back here because i just love this place so much then when we got back we actually did one of the floating um like food things i'm sure you've seen it all over pinterest and instagram and that was just like something i've always wanted to do in my life and so the fact we were able to do it here was just incredible and it was only $70 $70 for all that food for two people and two drinks that would never happen in the United States especially not in New York City like sometimes a single drink is like 25 to 30 dollars so the fact that we had all that food that we couldn't even finish at all and the two drinks was just incredible I absolutely love it here if you can tell and now we're just getting ready to go to dinner this place apparently is super nice so I'm gonna try and figure out what to do with my hair because like I said I think I have less than an hour to get ready so trying to speed things up I'm probably gonna film the like makeup portion of this on my TikTok so definitely make sure you're following me because I usually do a lot more get ready with me on TikTok get ready with me in thailand so it's my birthday and i have about 20 minutes to get ready so this is gonna be a really quick little get ready with me i already put on my little glow sunscreen in the shade uh golden hour since i know i have like two seconds to get ready and i'm gonna go with my hair natural for today because like i said i don't have time to dice in it so i went in with the jvn complete air drying cream whatever it is so let's see how my hair turns out we've had an amazing time here so far and it's literally only day two so i'm so excited to see you know everything else we get up to yesterday we went to the pp islands which was just absolutely gorgeous like we had a whole day excursion that you know we saw the dolphins we watched the sunset there was kayaking paddle boating i mean everything you could think of was just so perfect they also fed us like a million and one times so we were definitely stuffed and it was overall just amazing and then this morning we woke up, had breakfast, and then my husband took me to the most beautiful spa I've ever seen in my life. We had a two hour scrub and massage, and it was just all so incredible. The women were so nice that did it, and it was just overall the best experience ever. I highly recommend going there. I have it all on my YouTube, but yeah, it was just absolutely incredible. 
Then we came back and we had a little floating lunch, which I've always wanted to do. If you guys have seen on like, you know, Pinterest, Instagram, everyone always raves about it and you finally got to do it. It was incredible. And it was only $70, which I feel like is so cheap to have an entire lunch buffet for the both of us and drinks. Like that would never happen in the States, especially not where we're from in New York City. And then tomorrow we have another little boat tour. I forget where this one's too. I think it's like the James Bond Island and such. So very excited about this. And wait till you guys see how this boat looks. It's like a massive yacht. I just can't even believe that you could do stuff like this for only like $100. It's crazy. And like I said, this is only day two. So stay tuned for all the rest that we get up to. I'm going to have all of it on my YouTube. And I've been already posting on my Instagram a lot. So definitely check it out there. But yeah, being here is just like a dream come true i've always wanted to come to thailand and it's just exceeded my expectations like triple the amount it's so beautiful here like i said we have a few more days here and then we're gonna go to bangkok which i'm super excited about i've heard amazing things there we're gonna go to an elephant sanctuary which i'm super excited about because we're gonna get to you know bathe and feed the elephants and just see them in their natural habitat so i'm really excited about that i've never done anything like that before and i'm usually very against zoos or anything of that sort because i don't believe in you know harming the animals of course and like forcing them to work but this is a place where they're pretty much just you know roaming about and you're just there to watch them feed them and just you know watch them in their natural habitat so very excited about that as well my little lights died but i was gonna say that honestly the flight here was not bad at all we flew korean air and we flew from new york city straight to seoul which was about 16 hours and then we flew from seoul to bangkok which was another six hours and then to get here to phuket was like i think an hour and a half but overall I don't know it didn't feel like it was as bad as i was anticipating favorite part about flying korean air was that you got ramen anytime you wanted and it was my favorite ramen like the super spicy one so that was incredible for me and the food overall was just really good so it was an overall pleasant experience and i would definitely do it again in a heartbeat hey guys we're in the car heading to dinner i didn't have time to vlog because someone was rushing me and someone got the reservation from. He said it was 6.30, it was actually at 6. So this is just my outfit. You guys will have to just see it in the car. Follow me on Instagram because of course you know I'm gonna post it out there. And I also did a little get ready with me on TikTok, so check it out. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys whenever we're at dinner. next day we're about to head out on another little yacht tour we're going to i believe it's panyang bay hong island and james bond island so we're super excited this yacht is huge like it looks crazy in the photos so we're hoping it's the same when we get there and it just looks like a fun time we're basically gonna be there all day they even have like a sunset party all of this stuff so it'll definitely be a great time and of course i'll take you guys along with us for all of it this is my quick little ootd whole bikini um it's a bikini and skirt it's holding us from abercrombie this little cover-up i actually got from amazon i'm probably gonna like tie it up and try to take a cute photo and my sunglasses are vintage chanel that i got in amsterdam and then just have this little purse that i got in capri so i'll catch up with you guys when we get there guys when we walk over here after breakfast yesterday there was a pretty big snake and it was it was pretty it was green but i'm not trying to see any snakes so now i'm like so freaking scared walking and we also saw a cat and you guys know i don't like cats not that i don't like them i just i prefer not to see them so let's see how this walk goes wait no 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 isn't this where we saw it oh my god run We 
going to tap on, right? So, tap on I like this is uh, the name of Thailand Bombers beat the Shanghai Rockets in a score of 65 to 30. It was a riveting game, but at the end, the Bangkok Bombers really prevailed and pulled out. Thanks, Sean. Back. <laughs> it's so good to pop play here. What is it? It's so good to pop play. <laughs> 
Hey guys, I know I haven't talked much because like I said, I've just been going go, go, go and honestly just having an amazing time. This place is so beautiful. I never want to leave. I'm about to film a little get ready with me for TikTok. So I actually have it here on the wall. Let me show you. Isn't this the coolest thing? How I could just have this right here. I have like this case behind it. I'll have a link down below, but look at the view. I love it. I don't think I talked much last night, but basically we had the best yacht tour ever. Like everything was just so perfect, so beautiful. The most beautiful views, the most beautiful places you've ever been to. Like I was literally in tears and in awe at how beautiful everything we saw was. And I did not get sick this time, thank God. Even on the canoe, it was like very smooth, relaxing. So we went to James Bond Island, which I think is also called Feng Ya Bay and i we went to um hong island which was unreal like i i can't even if if you ever if there was any reason to ever come to thailand like that on its own was just so magical being there i jay and i were just like speechless and then i think we also went to another place that i can't remember but again i'll have everything linked down below all the tours we did all that stuff because it's just been such a magical vacation like we were talking about it today how this is definitely like top most beautiful place you've ever been to we've been very blessed to go to a lot of places but yeah this place is just so special so beautiful i can't believe i'm sitting here right now and about to do my skincare with this view okay let's not cry okay so i'm just gonna do my makeup and do a little montage for you guys we don't exactly have plans for where we're going like i said today was really just a chill day we sat by the pool, the beach, just vibed out. The food here is so, so, so good. We had like the best pad thai ever, best cocktails, just overall amazing vibes. I still haven't figured out the drone, so I'm hoping I can tomorrow because we really only have full day tomorrow and then the morning-ish of Wednesday because we leave around 2, I think, or something as our flight to Bangkok. So trying to soak up the island vibes as much as we can. But yeah, I think tonight we're going to try to go to Shilva Markets, like one of the night markets, because we haven't really, you know, gone into town or any of the night markets. We've really just been going to the different islands, different tours, and just hanging around by the beach and such. But yeah, we definitely want to do that tonight. So I'm going to quickly do a little get ready with me. If you guys want to see it, I think I'll do a little montage, like I said here, but I'm really going to do it right here on my TikTok. So I'll catch up with you guys then. day here i'm pretty bummed because it's just so beautiful like look at the view i'm looking at right now like are you kidding me how am i supposed to leave this and go back to cold and apparently it's still snowing in new york city it's just absolutely gorgeous here and to have like our own pool i just feel so blessed and this has literally been i would say the best trip ever so far but yeah, later tonight we will be going to, I think it's called Tan Beach Club. I've seen so many people rave about it, so I was like, you know what, we gotta go check it out. It looks really cute, so I'm excited. 
we're not going for like the beachier part we're going more like around sunset to watch the sunset people normally dress you know nicely and then there's like a fire show which i've never seen before so pretty excited about that they don't allow reservations so hopefully you know we get in but yeah that's pretty much what we're up to for tonight we leave tomorrow i think our flight's like 2 p.m so we will still be here in the morning we've been waking up like super early every day around like 7 8 a.m getting breakfast and then just chilling relaxing starting our day whatever the case is so we'll definitely swim a bit more in the morning we actually spent the whole day by the pool beach downstairs and we came up here because I wanted to try and use the drone since we still haven't tried to use it. And then we realized that, well one, we realized last night that it was pretty much dead, which didn't make any sense because I charged everything before we left, so that's besides the point. And then we, this morning we were like, okay, let's continue letting it charge. And after we're at the beach for hours, then we'll come back and be able to use it. Stupid us, we didn't realize that literally the key right there it's like in europe similar vibe where once you put the key in then the electricity turns back on so obviously the electricity wasn't on so nothing was charged so hopefully we can get a little bit of a charge now and start you know using it just a little bit something i have been doing is reading this book as you guys know i really only like reading outside i don't know what it is but that's just how i am but when i was younger i used to be the biggest bookworm i would sit around and just read forever and I'm almost done with this book, if you see. And when I got here, I was only like two chapters in. So I would say yesterday and today alone, I pretty much finished the book and I love it. I'm actually probably about to finish it right now because I think I only have a few more chapters. But yeah, comment down below any other book recommendations. I really love Colleen Hoover. This is the second book of hers I've read. And I'll catch up with you guys whenever we hopefully figure out the journey. and ready about to head to the beach club we don't have reservations so hopefully we're able to get in but they said that you don't need reservations so i don't know but this is just a quick little ootd if you want a better idea of it look on my instagram hopefully i'll get a good photo but yeah we'll see you guys 